Party up in here. Party up in here. Trust me on the mic, bitch. Air flash, bottles crash, everyone's having a blast. Party, party, party. We ain't gon' party lots and lots of lies. Drag it up, looking fresh. Dancing to the latest tracks. Music on, bass, room is shaking while starting to crack. Music on, music on. Music on, music on. Music on. Criminal, the rollie and the iPod, give it up. The change in your pocket, fam, throw it up. Those are for my prospects on the block, trying to survive. So the slang rocks from the crutch. We rolling with an 18 milli tuck. Only on each one of us. 20 breeds in a cup, like hungry doves. Do the math, what you thought. Four flash DVD, I'm in the interview, TKL Boxing Gym. Um, can you explain yourself what TKL Boxing Gym is? Uh, it's a, generally it's a boxing club, but um, it's for amateurs. See, mainly, mainly pros, but it's for amateurs, beginners, and it's all for all, all, all sorts of, even kickboxers. Can you explain how a amateur boxing club works and a professional boxing club works, i.e. linked with a boxing association, organising boxing tournaments, and organising um, title fights, how all that works? Right, well, mainly with amateurs, it's run by the ABA, and it's all over three rounds. Yeah, that's so no matter what age you are, if you're 10 or if you're 30, it's over three rounds. It's a matter of how many minutes it is in a round. Uh, with professional boxing, it starts from four rounds up to 12 rounds, depending on what kind of bat it is. So if you, if you start in your career, you start four rounds, and as you progress through your career, you go up to 12 rounds. So when, when you talk about the organisation of everything, like does the um, Boxing Association um, set the rules and regulations, for like the fights and how it and do they also like see like you know like in the in the tennis match they might see one boxing club and a boxer with another boxing club and organize yeah. like, like yeah. a fight. In the, kind of in the professional ranks the, the seeding goes on. Yeah. But there's many different organisations. There's not just one main there's one there's one main organisation, but there's many different bodies. The main body is BBOC British Board Boxing Club. Oh. Um, in amateurs, there's only one, which is the ABA. Oh. So all the boxes in amateur go by the ABA. And they set the rules, but there's no single in amateur. Oh. Oh. And um, can you explain how um, fights are organised from book booking of venues, um, ticket office selling, and television and press coverage, and you know, all like that organising the fight, booking the venue, and then the tickets. Oh, and well, I've, like I've only just started on the pro side of things, so it's been difficult for me to tell you exactly how it goes by the pro side. Yeah. Uh, with amateur side, it's mainly like, if it's a club show, then it's the club that books the hall, does the promotion. What about the tickets? Or like? Does the tickets, mainly tickets on the door, so when you get to the door, you buy it. But the market in with that, you've got to fill the um, venue, the can't have empty. Yeah, but with the venue, it's mainly people that know the fighters, so it's like children to adults. So, so family, family and food. friends, local food. Food. Yeah. Right. And when it comes to championships, it's people that, that follow the championships and people that follow the fighters that go to the venues. But it's not really publicised. Amateur boxers not really publicised. It's, it's like an underground thing. People will know about it, they go. But with the pros, it's more publicised. Does TKL Boxing Gym organise endorsement deals like merchandising, like clothing deals for the boxers, television, press 
deals and like interviews with prominent magazines and stuff like that. Yeah, that was, I would say they do because Johnny Ings has just got his manager's license as well and his promoter's license. Right. So now he's getting into the side of things where he promotes these events and he has to encompass that all. What about like, um, like say, because there's a management, the box is signed to the management, they sign the deal. Do they get like money in return for like their fights or like? Yeah, they get. It's all about when they fight. Box is all about when they fight. But box themselves can go and get a sponsorship. So Ian's a professional fighter. He will get money when he fights, but to help you along the way, you'll get sponsorship from certain companies. And, like, and the sponsorship, and they will sponsor, and they will sponsor you. Yeah. And the sponsorship could be clothing, or could be a magazine, or yeah. or it could be an individual. Uh, no, it could be an individual. Like a fighter. Fighters find me up and come fighters in Bailey. I uh, just started working with him a few weeks ago. Um, he's fighting for a British title, is that right, Ian? An English title. British in a bit. So watch out for this kid, Ian Bailey. Thank you. 